in this video i'm going to show you how to upgrade this 10.4 inch screen from one ccfl to our ub 35 series led kits this kit comes with one led strips one connectors one driver and one of aluminum foils let's set our kit for aside for a second and take a look at this screen this is a 10.4 inch screen it's made by lg phillips the screen's lp the part number is lp 104 v2 again lp 104 v2 all right so this is one lamp is 10.4 inch screen so in order to upgrade the ccfl to uh ub uh, 35 series it's quite simple first you remove the screw this is the screw that uh, holding the reflectors okay you unscrew it take it out okay then you kind of grab this wire slowly pull it out it depends on condition sometimes a little bit difficult to pull it out so you might do looks long nose to just hold this piece of let me see here yeah piece of okay here we go just slowly pull it out make sure it's clean set that aside wow look at this lamps it's all bad you see this this coating was bad already see you can actually peel it off so this is a classic example why you need to upgrade the LED because this coating it's degraded, it's broken. So let's take a look at our UB 35 series. See, okay, this 35 series is not gonna fit in this reflector. So, besides, this is kind of you know the wrong bottoms. So, in this case, we are not gonna use these reflectors. So, before we do that, we're gonna direct mount it on the back, test it. But again, um, when you purchase this one, we always test it before we ship. So, I mean, just here, I just want to demonstrate really quick, sir. So, uh, all right, that's good. Good to go. The way to install it, because we are not going to install back to the reflectors, not a fit. So, what we do is that we're going to slide it in like this. And then also you can see a little bit, I'm not sure you can see it, a little bit here. So that way we could kind of use this treatment, just make sure you stick to the bottoms. Okay, and then use probably aluminum foil to cover this lights. Okay, so all the way here. All right, so we're gonna peel out the double side tape. When you peel off, when you slice in, it kind of upward first see that move upward first okay when you find the position you're gonna flip over I'm not sure you can see it on that but I want to let you see it later on you see this a little bit here a little bit here so anyway we're gonna add a piece of tip here Just to secure the wires, right? Oops, this is not really good. This tip. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Anyway, so if you fire up, you're gonna see this light. We bleeding now. I'm gonna show you a little bit here. Uh, you can connect to either end. Okay. You see this? So we're going to use this to cover it. The other one here. You see this? One more here. Okay, so you can always kind of tip this wire same time at this time. Like this. Okay, so now it's complete. It's quite simple. Next thing is that how are we going to connect? So this end you can connect to either end. Okay. But this one, how are you going to connect to the your old inverter wire harness? This is too wet. 
is full input voltage. Black is power ground, negative. This is positive. Uh, white usually no connection. The yellow is very important. It's enabled. You need to apply any way between 3 to 5 volts to turn this inverter on and off. If you can find this 3.5 3 volts, what you can do is that you can short out this JP2. I'm not sure you can see in a really fine solid. This JP2 you short out. The only thing you need to do is connect positive, negative. That's it. <clears throat> Thank you for watching.